so quick session on VMware logs and if you want to do some sort of troubleshooting or you want to contact vendor for some sort of help you need to provide them the logs right they lost if, if a v center is down if a v center is not coming up okay so what you will do first thing is first thing is v center is down 6.7 version right so it's not coming up the services are not coming up means means how you will how you will is that just a moment let me log into vcenter come on so slow man yeah okay finally Okay. So let me log into Active Directory. What we will do? We'll normally launch the vCenter. So we will log in. Right. Somehow you found that the V Center is unable to log in or when you're trying to access this portal, it is not working. When you're trying to access this portal, it is not working. So what you will do? Upload file to service request. It will automatically generate some sort of bundle. When you're having some issues, you can upload from here and you can add some of the client plugins if you want to enable these are the two options but my my question is more of troubleshooting when i'm trying to access it it is unable to access right if i'm trying to access it i'm unable to access this portal so how to check how to troubleshoot configuration this everything is what we did so no not this one somehow there must be some just a moment it's nothing right okay so there is a specific url okay copy link address and paste it instead of user interface you have to type 5480 okay so it will take you to appliance management and provide your root credentials means on the back end you can connect it to your vcenter appliance via root credentials or else what you can do you can simply minimize this do we have put this session here no right uh, i cannot get the putty over here now 
it's okay if you have a putty session you can log into the linux prompt and you can do some troubleshooting that is one way another way is use the same appliance root credentials appliance management this is front end vcenter this is back end services on the back end if there is any service which is running or if the appliance cpu memory database is everything is good not right so you can check it from here and you'll see host name and type of vcenter embedded service platform service controller and vcenter version actions okay create a support bundle what it will do it will generate a log and it will download in your local the entire vcenter log even if uh, this portal is not working okay this should work and it, it should show some of the health check red maybe some issue on the health check and what you can do you can export the support bundle from here so that it will generate the entire logs and it will create one single bundle you can upload it to support.vmware.com so they'll come back to you on the resolution part that is one thing and you have a couple of options to see the performance cpu memory disk network and how db is performed the back end back end postgres sql database will be there right so cancel i don't want to download that okay on the back end the postgres sql database will be there right so you can see the performance of the database and access you can change the access <coughs> ssh and console you can connect to console via cli and on enable dcl and the bash you can set enable or disable the control networking more of your network settings if there is any network issue that you can troubleshoot from here okay and you have a proxies that it will stop sending data to vmware.com you can configure the proxies so that it will automatically send data to vmware.com and yeah, firewall settings you want to check okay and time synchronization along with the host whatever the host on which we on which host this vm is running it will get the time from that host or else you can specify your own ntp server in your organization so services you will see what all the services that are running we center warnings the health is green okay db job 3 some db services having some issue the rest of the services are running so you can check if there are any services automatic services definitely they should be on start mode all the automatic services okay you can check here and if you want to upgrade let's see you have 6.7 right and you want to do upgrade to 7.0 how to do that that's a let's let, let it complete and you can check for updates and you can upload the bundle just like how you upgrade the host similarly you can upgrade the vcenter as well this this will help you to upgrade from here and administration if you want to set some passwords and users or user password settings when when to expire and when to and you can change a couple of things if you want to change the password for your root and system logs okay configure you can add a server all the logs will go and save on a specified server okay and if you are planning for update upgrade or update version you can the recommendation is you can configure backup or you can take a manual backup and put it on some server okay you can take a manual backup 
and save it on some server means let me configure backup schedule you just use the server name and your cafs file or folder and a username for that particular user and if you want to encrypt put an encryption pa encryption uh, what we call it as password and set some eight o'clock in the eight o'clock in the night every day and retain at least last seven days of backups that's it give a remote location location is some remote server and username and password for that particular server what i will do slash 192 168 dot what is the active directory ip 55 right slash see Saying protocol kind of protocol that will support. Let me see. SMB. Okay, I need to specify SMB. Okay. So SMB colon one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot thirty dot 55 slash what i will do on this on this server there is a e drive and there is a folder called backup so i will go to properties sharing enable share share and settings done so slash and administrator for that particular server and what is the password for your backup encryption even someone is trying to take that backup and trying to and SMB port number. What is SMB port number? Come on. Okay, so I have to specify just a moment. IP config five fifty five. Okay, so we do 168 30.55 or 301 slash backup. Yeah, it is there, right? So this is the location. So I want to give this location here. Just a moment. colon server address and port number folder subfolder yeah smb colon the server address sorry this is server address and colon 139 slash backup location slash 
need. Taking Sunday. That's it. Error in invocation utilization not no attribute. Your location does not exist. Okay, manual backup. Uh, SMB location. I don't know why why it has got these many additional stuff. Nine slash backup administrator okay. put some password. Let me try one last item because I have never seen this option earlier. Let's start. SMB locations in one letter. Are they? working it's not taking before taking a backup backup server must be set up with the configuration sessions and the protocol supported FTP HTTPS STP FTP NFS SMB and HTTP same thing and syntax is protocol colon slash slash server address port number slash folder same thing you know AFS backup supported SMB supported. Yeah, it's taking 192 dot fifty five and then one thirty nine slash backup. One last items if it works well. Okay, otherwise we'll leave it. But this will go and save the backup in that particular location. That's it, nothing else. Don't leave it. Okay, it will go and save the backup in that location for the appliance. Okay, this is vCenter related stuff. But what about ESXi? Okay. So when I say ESXi, logs location. Okay, so let me go to 6.7 vCenter and host and clusters. Right click on any host and It is settings right click on a host. Just a moment, where is this? Where is this HTTP enable disable? Just look at if there is any HTTP option here. All system settings. Message. Let me try. And anyway, this is not going to work, right? So I'll go into my original host. This will work anyway, right? Rather than spending too much time on it, I'm into my original host. Let me change the settings a little bit. Appearance. Apply. I'm onto original host. 
if I go to VFXI 6.5 log files, each and every each and every version has different log file repository or some changes, some changes in the logs. You see 6.5 or is my 6.0 right? So 6.5 is Seven where logs okay. Let me go to slash where CD logs ls. You will see for each and everything, you will have one log file. Okay, for each and everything, you have one log file authentication log. Okay, whoever is trying to access now. Today, today, this many authentications are happened. Yesterday and prior to that, every day it will keep on tracking. Okay, and if you want to look at any other logs. VM kernel. Can you please tell this again where we can see some of the it, it will track of, I mean, on the ESXA server. If I go to this, see each and every log will capture certain information. Okay, so records activities related to virtual machine and ESXA on the kernel and VMK warning log only virtual machine related stuff and summary used to determine uptime and availability statistics for your ESXA server. Okay, so cat VMK summary log. Okay, when the host is started, when it is powered off. Okay, now yesterday we are discussing something, recollect. When the host is suddenly went down and you are not sure how, why it is went down. After the troubleshooting is done, you can come over here and see when the host went offline exactly. This host is offline at this time and again online at this time and so on. If you scroll down, last recent host is on this time and host is off at this time. Last shutdown is this and last power on this. And what is the time now? This is the time now around half an hour back. I have powered on this host. Matching with the timing. If you want to identify those things, this is the log. Like that, you have such entries over here. You can you can check over here. And ESXA log files. Using syslog facility. Okay, ESX records using syslog facility. What I will do, I'll, I'll scroll down to ES from host and somewhere I have a syslogs. I can route all the logs into one location. I can route. I have a mini host. For each and every host, I cannot go and check everything on a specific location, right? So what I can do, I can specify syslog location, system settings, system resources, no. Security profile, no. Somewhere uh, options have changed, man. Normally, you will have syslog location. Let me go to my original host and see. You see, SSH directly it is available here, but in that case, it is not. Sign 
services you can turn on turn off services here Machine certificates system settings somewhere you will see some advanced settings okay Log default size, syslog directory, edit. Okay, you can set your remote server. Understood? Normally, under scratch slash under log, Matlab, sorry, under slash log on each host. If I go to var log under this every system log will be captured right if these logs want to you want to route it to somewhere else somewhere else means some remote server you specify that server name okay that will go and save in that particular server with the server name i have a 100 esxi host all the 100 esxi host logs will be saved in a remote location so what happens if host goes down if a host goes down you don't know host is not accessible you want to do something then you can simply log in into that log server and go to particular folder of a specific host and inside you will see all the logs and you open the logs and see why this went down you can check it out over there in a consolidated location that is also possible but normally when you contact support you need to supply all these logs to vendor during troubleshooting. Understood? Yes. Value. Value. Two output logs. Null. Example. Data store. Yeah. So you can set every every log will go and sit here. You, you select anything, select any kind of log. All the logs will go and sit over here. You'll see for each and every operation. ESX update. Let's see. For for example, if there is any upgrade that you have tried, attempted, and it is failed, you can come and check here. Every day it will see. It will look for patches or upgrades, but you will not see any updated information. But if you if you are keenly looking at those logs, upgrade logs, you can check it out here. Okay, and what else? You run as some CLI commands. What is the output of those? I never executed any CLI commands on top of this, so no no output. Vsan have any vsan only local storage so whenever i start it will get one path information uh, if it is a vsan you will see a lot of these logs get, gets generated and you will you will find those over here so you have a lot of these things okay but based on the requirement you can have a look and do the troubleshooting accordingly also also I'm, one of the one of the example of what you what we're discussing what you will do when you get a purple screen error 
right on a common one of the common error is vmware esxi host one of the example troubleshooting okay esxi host stop responding and displays the purple diagnostic screen that means the esxi host is listed as not responding on in vcenter in vcenter if you log in if you log in on your vcenter it is showing as disconnected on the brackets not responding okay and several virtual machine become unresponsive you are unable to communicate with esxi host via ping ssh or vcenter you will not be able to access from anywhere esxi host displays purple screen on its console okay if i go to esxi host okay if i go to esxi host and i'm sorry esxi host this is my esxi host and if i open a console from ilo or cmc whatever id rack this this display you will see you will see purple screen in that case what you have to do okay so purpose although the individual purpose of diagnostic screen has a specific cause purpose screen errors or group of do not have a single cause the general terms usually cause several hardware or software errors cause the server to halt prevent from proceeding means there might be some memory leak and hardware issue and kernel problem kernel crash kernel leak whatever n number of reasons it will throw purple screen when the server enters into this condition it proceeds to create a memory dump in emk partition listing previous instructions that took a place before the error exception occurred when this process completes the server requires manual rebooting to return into normal state it means there is no other option you need to reboot your esxi host okay but please make sure before rebooting you check all the vms which are running on that particular host they are down if they are down please restart them on other host or sometimes what happen part of the esxi host will will be crashed and few machines are down and few machines are working normal and you will not see esxi host is not responding but one or two vms are struck at screen so what you have to do you have to manually move those vms onto other host then go ahead and reboot to fix this purple screen error there is no there is no defined solution for this only thing is host will stop responding you have to go and restart the host clear any other any other error messages that you have reviewed yesterday or if you have any questions related to any other troubleshooting or general scenarios if you want you can ask me we have 10 minutes to discuss guys vivek So the discussion sir are we tools are we are we tools yes perfect you are the man so you should have asked man otherwise i'll forget right i what to do are we tools simply google it so tools website name itself is are we tools Go to download. Okay. Okay. Just download the RV tool. This is one of the manual tool. Okay. 
this down. So once it is installed, we can connect it to done what happened successfully installed okay that's it so rv tools will be installed on your system or maybe some remote system what you have to do can you give me sorry man how to do that i need to copy this give me a moment i need to copy this inside the v center otherwise Let's see, I, I cannot access my vCenter over here, right? Let me do one thing. Hello? Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Okay. Every time copying uh, things here and there, it is not at all good for me. So I will do some tweaking today. Properties. IPv4 instead of what is the VLAN 30, right? 30 dot. Yes. 99 i have i believe 30.99 i haven't used so 30 okay close now what is the v center ip 30 dot 30 okay yes illustrator Spear dot local and get the credentials. Let's see, it will automatically connect to your V Center and pull out all the information. Now, if you see. 192 168 30 dot 50 working how come strange man that 99 how come it is 99 just a moment what is the gateway i gave ncpa dot cpl dot one no connected here yeah, I should work there okay ping one two one sixty eight thirty dot one I am unable to send the data to gateway Dot 151. I think your laptop connected to Wi-Fi. LAN connection is also there. I have two connections. I am changing this LAN connection. Maybe internet is, uh, maybe routing is not allowed on that. So, again, we struck. 1.101. One dot 100 working it will not work again but if i disconnect the wi-fi definitely it should work can I disconnect to Wi-Fi for a second and uh, reconnect it? Yes.
hello i'm back hello yes sir if you see what i did i simply disconnected and open the rv tools just click on connect i gave a vcenter credentials then automatically you'll get this page nothing else only thing is the network network connectivity must be there so i can see these are the vms and templates running on my vcenter and cpus and the memory disk configuration and networks okay and if i go to cluster one cluster is there with three hosts and host three hosts are there right and data stores i have six data stores licenses if there is any licenses apart from file license you will see and distributed ports what all the distributed ports distributed switch and all the distributed ports and standard ports how many nic cards we have and what all those mac addresses and data stores how much capacity how many vms what is the provision space in memory free size free percentage okay everything it will show right and snapshots if there are any snapshot that are there that are hung snapshots okay and any other tools that are installed everything will be displayed on this tool on a weekly on weekly basis what you can do export to excel save what it will do it will export all the sheets all the tabs done so rv tools export You'll get in a proper formatted on every aspect in the sense for each and every component you'll get output like this okay uh, even even in our lab you see these many entries in your real time you will see hundreds of entries or thousands of entries right every week you can schedule these and you'll get utilization if i say cluster if i go to data stores this is the capacity as of today next week you'll get something different numbers afterwards you'll get a something different numbers right so yeah what you have to do if the free space is less free space is less than 30 percent or 20 percent then you need to highlight that and inform everyone if the free space is less than 30 percent highlight in red inform to everyone we need to look into this data store this is kind of capacity management on your weekly basis understood yes okay vivek any questions hello sir what is sioc and uh, nioc IOC. What are you saying? Regarding what? That, uh, uh, that uh, free space, SIOC enabled. Okay. Yes. The free space, I look at these three parameters. I never looked into these parameters. Let's see. I have control. Storage I have control enabled or not? Not enabled. That's it. Okay. I'm just looking at the free space and the capacity levels. I'm not looking at any performance tuning and other stuff. This report will purely used when you're looking at information. Okay, let's say today when you when you generate a report, 
Okay, the first tab. See, virtual machine is running power on at this time. Okay, and created on this date with CPU, memory, NIC, disk, everything, every every parameter it will give you. And at the end somewhere you will see the on which host it is running. On which data store, right? And on which cluster, on which host it is running. Today it is running on this host. Next week in our no due to HA and DRS configured, right? DRS will move these VMs onto other host. If there is any problem, you can come and refer this sheet and try to log in into that host and start troubleshooting it. Right? At least some sort of information you will get it from here. If you don't know anything about customer environment, at least you will understand something from this. Agree? Yes. You can use this as an inventory for your customer environment. Whenever you join a new, newly joined to any other team, probably you'll get a chance to pick those things. Right. Vivek, any other, any other questions? No, if everything is good, then I'll stop here. Okay, this is the last session this particular series 6.7 administration part any other any other questions from you guys no Vivek? no let me stop here